This one's going through the end zone. That's a 70 yard field goal. And it'll be a touchback. Kenny Bell, number seven, a speedster, is at the top of the screen. They hope to get big things out of him today. Come right. Richardson. Oh, he is something really special. Right into the secondary. And this has been the story. When Alabama runs it, it's been tough for anybody Mar to beat him. Marquise waves with a quick screen out to the left. And that's another first down. Let's check the Arkansas defense after the gain of 12. Eddie Lacy replaces Richardson. McCarron, he'll run. And come up short of the first down. Kate Foster is on. They're going to try this from 54 yards. Foster. McCarron has. Oh, perhaps. Yeah, maybe not. Remember, a penalty here is no big deal for Alabama. On fourth and four, McCarron. Oh, he's got a man wide open. He's great. Right. Point at the 10. It's Michael Williams for the touchdown. What a trick play. Ronnie Wingo is the deep back. Wingo. Remember last year when he scored on the second play? In oh, this yeah. Game? Well, not this year. Jesse Williams, big defensive tackle, grabbed him from behind. And now Alabama with the 7-0 lead opens at the 20. And it's Trent Richardson back in as a tailback play action. Marquise Mays gets a great block from Anthony Steen, number 61. And Gary, you said the other day they had thunder and lightning last year with Ingram, and now it's... Oh, yeah, they got thunder, thunder. You know. <laughs> Lacey with 162 yards last week. And he gets the handoff, cuts it back a little bit to the left. And that is going to be two yards short of the first down. Yeah, Lacey it... with Washburn. No, that's okay, Vern. Jericho Nelson, number 31, the linebacker has gone back. Here's the punt. Nice high. This should be a fair catch. Oh, they hit the helmet. They hit the helmet. The Alabama uh, player. Yeah, it'll, yep. be, it'll be dead right there where it hit his helmet. On the 21-yard line. You know, you're, you're down there. You're fighting, guys. There's nothing Menzi can do about that. That's yep. just the luck of the, the punt. Kick catch interference. The kicking team, number 24. That penalty is 15 yards from the spot of the foul. Wilson has a lot of time, and he's belted as he lets it go, and the catch is made out on the right side. 6-10 to go, first quarter. Left side, Ronnie Wingo, missed tackle, and then they get him, but he gets a first down up near midfield. Toss, Wingo, nowhere to run. Boy, that was well defended that time. Now it's third down. Wilson across the middle. Caught. That's Greg Childs, number 85, one of that quartet of receivers that Gary discussed. Six defensive backs now in for the Crimson Tide. Left side, Joe Adams tries to get to the right side, and the foot race is all out. Adams, what? A run after the catch. <laughs> Wilson, perfect so far. Seven of seven after he missed the opening pass. Not perfect. Whoa, gashed him. Up the middle. Gashed him. Touchdown, Arkansas. Whoa. Ronnie Wingo, 26 yards. Penalty on the play, though. It's going to come back, I think. Whoa. Dennis Johnson alongside Wilson. Third and 11. Got it. First down. Razorbacks, Jarius Wright, number four. Yeah, Jarius Wright. See, here's the veteran receivers. First and ten. Fires it short. Boom. Jarius Wright, Dre Kirkpatrick. Wilson now 10 of 11. Got a man open. It's Dennis Johnson. Razorback touchdown. And so much emphasis on the offensive weapons for the Razorbacks that one tends to overlook. 
If they can hit them with the blitz up the middle, McCarron gets a block. Yes, it was. And Kenny Bell, number seven. Here comes Tyler Wilson. By the way, he was recruited by Alabama. Major Apple White was here at the time. Here's the play action. Wilson looks back to his left. He's under pressure, throws it short, and it is caught. And that's going to be another first down as Ronnie Wingo catches well, it as a safety valve. He, would, he came in with the freshman class that includes the three outstanding wide receivers, draw play. He and other fraternity and sorority members serve 52,000 hot meals in a week. Big play. Big man. Trent Richardson. And he does not go down easily. First down, and Lacey is in. He gets the handoff. Steps out of the tackle and uses his big frame to bang his way. In trouble, flips it out to Richardson. How about that? Heads up play, McCarron. Richardson provided a block and then slipped out about two yards to the right side, a gain of 12. And he gets the handoff. Big hole. Look for the stiff arm, but a nice tackle. Really well done by Greg Gatson, number 28. He saved a touchdown. Yeah, I think Arkansas are just going to have to be what they be, and that's they're a B and throwing team. <laughs> they be a throwing <laughs> team. Lacey. Now let's go back to the studio for a John Hancock update. Barrett Robbins still at left tackle. He was a two-year starter at right guard, but he plays every position along the line. And McCarron, somebody slipped in unimpeded from the right side. Alonzo Highsmith made the tackle to Chris Smith. Darius Hanks comes in motion to the near side. Here's McCarron stepped up. He's got the relief man. It's Richardson. A battle. Oh, You're man. not going to get him down. I swear he can bounce off bodies like few in the country. Richardson behind the line. Whoa, how wow. about that goal line stand? What kind of penetration? They'll settle for the field goal attempt. By the way, we did hear from Steve Shaw, and he said they do have the power to correct the spot. They just did not on that play. Well, you know what? It didn't make any difference, but it could have. See what Alabama plans. Blitz from the outside. And oh, intercepted. This is Dequan Menzi. Touchdown. Karch Karai, for those of you who don't follow volleyball, was a captain of the 84. Here's a reverse. Joe Adams going left, and he is nailed for a loss all the way back at the 11. Milner. McCarran pumps once. There is no flag, and it will be fourth down. When you watch the tape of Alabama and then you watch them in person, they just don't give you the easy throws. You have to earn every throw. Quick flip. How about that defensive effort? My goodness, Dre Kirkpatrick. Yep. Good athletes, highly recruited athletes. So he works well on first. They've got the man. Out to the right side is Marquise Mays. And he leans out. Timeout called. Marquise Mays. Snap. Good block to Richardson. McCarron, loose ball, but he falls down, and that might do it. Yeah, Nick has looked at the clock and said, I don't want to run another one. Let's get yeah. out of here. Alabama scored on the opening drive. They went 80 yards and got the touchdown on a fake field goal. The big plays went to Alabama. The fake field goal and the interception. On first down, here's Wingo going right, cutting back, breaking a tackle and moving all the way out. To the 33-yard line, just short of the first down. Play action. 
action. Wilson comes to his left. Now being chased, fires short, and it's caught by Chris Gregg, number 80. Let's go down to Tracy Wilson. And gets called for the illegal motion, five-yard penalty, and it is first and 15. Little the screen pass, left, Wingo, nailed. Lost six more yards, Thierry. Marquise Mays is back to return it. Dylan Breeding. To punt for the Mays gathers it in at the 17. He's got some room. Gets a block. Breeding's got to stop him. Breeding doesn't. Now there's still a chance defensively. Look at Mays. Now he's at the 10. Cuts back. Brilliant run. Marquise Mays. Going to take really some effort for Arkansas to get back in this. That was Courtney Upshaw. Yes, it was. Boy, oh boy. Remember, they lost four first-round draft choices exactly. off this team. Exactly. Marcel Darius, Julio Jones, Mark Ingram, and James Carpenter all starting in the NFL and replaced their quarterback. A.J. McCarron, Richardson grabs it. Uh-oh. See ya. Touchdown, Alabama. 61 yards. That's eight out of 15. Uh, Alabama's one about the last five recruiting services, number ones. I think they've been pretty right. <laughs> There's a lot of players on this team. Cade Foster kicks this one. And it will be taken at the 13-year-old line, Dennis Johnson. Oh, boy. Wilson again popped, but he gets it complete. Into the hands of Ronnie Wingo. And Mark Barron finally forces him out of bounds. But a big gain, and Wilson comes up hurt. Yeah, every, every throw now, he's throwing it just as he's getting hit. And, of course, we've mentioned that Niall Davis, their wonderful running back, out for the year. Look oh, Wilson. man. Wow. That might be a touchdown. It is. It is. Oh, my goodness. Wait until you see how Wilson threw that ball. Kobe Hamilton caught it, and it wasn't a bad catch. Hanks and Mays near side, third and four. Inside pass to Darius Hanks. He made the catch. Right, good coverage, better throw, and a better catch. And it's a fundraiser for the relief effort here in Tuscaloosa. There's one old guy that's going to play, Jerry Pate. Oh, Alabama. Oh, that was almost Whoa. another big play. Whoa. Out of the spread. That's Dennis Johnson play action. Wilson, he's got a lot of time this time. And the catch is made by Dennis Johnson. Oh, they're going to add 15 to it. Whoa. But he does not look to me like he did last year when he got injured. Yeah. I don't know if he's all the way back 100% yet. Knee injury. Wilson out of the backfield. It's Chris Gregg. And now let's go back to the studio for this John Hancock update. Here's Tim Brando. Play action. What a fake. Wilson. But what downfield coverage. Are you kidding? Well, Mark he... Barron, but he hurt his teammate. He injured Dre Kirkpatrick. Oh, boy. Fullback, Kiero Small is there. The handoff, Johnson. No! Lejos is still in its center. McCarron, left side, caught at the 41, Brad Smelly, the H-back. Second down, 10. Richardson comes right, bounces out of a tackle. And Trent Richardson, Eddie Lacy continue to rotate in that Alabama backfield. And it's time now to cue the duck again. Third and one. Richardson. First and goal at the six. Second and goal. Lacy. Touchdown. 
touchdown. Crimson Tide. Play action, Wilson. He's being chased by Courtney Upshaw. They might throw a flag on that one. Yes, they do. He got really hit late. I think they're going to feel much better about themselves coming out of this game than they did coming out two years ago in this game. That one, Robert Lester almost picked it off. Left side. Richardson. First down. McCarron. Down the middle, Marquise Mays. Overthrows him by a foot or two. Six different people tattooed him in the chin today. Second down. Here's Mitchell. Keeps it. This is what he provides. Lacy. <laughs> Gosh. Down. Mitchell toss around the end. It's Mingo and he's got a first down. Now they're going to go play Florida next week. It'll be very interesting to see what Florida dials up for this Alabama defense. Mitchell, Nick Gentry got him. Number 58. Against this mix of secondary, not a formula for beating him. Right. Here's the option again to go outside, and here's the defense. You know what surprised me in those numbers, Vern, is that I thought Auburn threw the ball more than 20 times against him. Mm -hmm. Mitchell, he's popped as he lets it go. Completed it. Yes, he did at the 47 of Alabama, Joe Adams. Boy, you sure would hate to lose one of your star players in garbage time here, wouldn't yes. There's Mark Barron going over to make the tackle. The catch made again by Joe Adams. Deep left side, jump ball. Alabama might have gotten it. Oh, yeah. They did. Mitchell kind of heaved that one up the ground. Yeah, he threw the high ball. I think Dean Milner's the guy who got him, number 28. Dalton Fowler is the running back now, number 45. And he's got a first down. They know what they're doing this year. They are lined up right. They've got plenty of talent, and they're going to get better and better as the season goes along. They're not going to beat themselves this year. Fowler comes left. Final 35 seconds. Alabama wins it for five consecutive years now. And they have won their SEC opener for the 20th consecutive year. Wow. That's a pretty good uh, mark. Nick Saban, Bobby Petrino. The handshake at midfield. 38-14. Trent Richardson. 17 for 126, A.J. McCarron, 15 of 20.